Hi, beautiful people. My name is D to the Crime, and um, I'm going to be a guest presenter for today. Now, um, in the building right about now, in this house, sitting right next to me on my left hand side, is this beautiful young gentleman. Now, I heard rumor—I mean, rumors has it that they call him the sexy man. Yeah, he has this boyish face with his fine gestures and a uh, flamboyant um, looking out there. And um, I heard that he gets—he gets the ladies. You know, weak in their knees. I'm going to find out why and the reason why he texted. So today, help me welcome this gentleman in the building right about now. D to the crime, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Now, my first question for you, Mr. Sexy Man, can you describe the most sexiest thing on your body right about now? Next question. Ah, I'm kidding. I just got you there. Um, sexiest thing about me, I think it's around this area. Yeah. And I'm uh, looking at this area, somebody might be wondering what's there. My nabu, my mouth, that's one. Now tell me, what kind of girl do you find attractive? Can I go find attractive? Latino? <laughs> hey, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think um, an attractive girl, is, uh, it explains itself, self-attractive. So an attractive girl could be anybody who is, who is beautiful. Girl. But and I think you have to be beautiful inside out for me because um, um, a beautiful girl. I can tell where exactly how you are, you're going to be like with the first time, but as time goes on, I get to know you. I can tell that you're really a beautiful person inside out. But basically, so a beautiful girl is an attractive girl to me. Yeah. Okay. Talking about good looks, um, they say that a good looking people, um, beautiful people like you, sometimes lack the game. Now, if I say the game in the sense that I'm um, Sometimes when I'm off the bash, they call you guys P.O.P. Do you think that is your looks that helps you easily con or woo the ladies? Or you think um, you, you've got the game? I think it would be a shame if I don't mm -hmm. have the game. And um, looking at me at the level okay. of fame, I, I always upgrade. I don't just maintain. And uh, before I see. I see. Yeah, you go more. These are all right. Now let me tell you a little something. What's my name? Perfect. Well, the first C, it's, people call it crazy, but then I call it creative. Now, me being creative, you know, mostly, whatever I do, I just don't like to make it so simple. I like to be creative about it. So with the creative side of me, I'll never like the game. Let me give you an example. Um, if you know anybody that I've dated, I mean, if you know two ladies or any two, uh, two ladies come here right now and they're telling you that crime, I've, you know, we've been together, they'll tell you that my lyrics are not always the same. Let me give you an example. I could be like, hi, how are you? My name is D Crime and um, nice to meet you, but I like you. And I could be like, um, I know this is not your first time here and this, and I know probably you might have heard this like a couple of times, maybe even today, but these are the words of my own and I like you. These are two different lyrics. So definitely I'd never maintain the same, or I mean, I'd never be, I'd be like, I'm sticking to one rhyme. No, never. This is D Crime, I like to be creative, so I've got the game, definitely, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me say this. What is the worst way that you have broken up with a girl? I mean, have you ever broken up with a girl? That's number one. And um, how worst was it? Uh, worst way. The funny thing is that I'm, um, you know, and the only time that I tried to me Jayobi, uh, tried breaking up with somebody. I don't know if it's prediction or it's, it, they could easily tell, but it just happened. It was like, why are you acting like Obazo breaking up with me? And I'm like, uh, this is the reason why I came here. Uh, this is what I'm about boy. to tell you. And I mean, okay. to me, all this while. So I think it was easily predicted, but I mean, that was the only time mm -hmm. I tried breaking up with somebody. Yeah, Chimmy Moon, but at least it was the reason why I was. I understand. I mean, if I had a sister dating you myself, I, I will always feel insecure about that because, I mean, come on. Dude, does she own you alone? I wonder. <laughs> no, I'm just pulling your legs. Um, so let me ask you this. Okay. I know you have a bigger fan base. I know you. Have, I, I mean, I, I see you on stage, and I, I know about your fan pages and everything. What are some of the craziest things that the fan have said to you, or craziest thing that the fan has done to you? One guy walked up to me and was like, "Yo, crime. Yeah, I think you're the freshest dude in the world." In my in the world. Wow. That's a compliment. And um, you know, I'll make you, you and my sister born one. You make me watch the picking this book. I will take care of her myself. You're joking. Now let me I mean with your 
your answering of the questions and your impressions and everything. I see, I see some cartoonic in you. I mean, if I'm wrong, correct me. But ah. do you think that you like you like to be a cartoon character, or are you that comic, or do you intentionally act cartoonish? You know, well, that's very weird. That's where my work comes okay. in. You don't need to be told. I know that I'm cartoonish, <laughs> very, very comic. Uh, not just me watching cartoons or reading about it and all that. I just like to live that life. You know, I think it's a free world of that. Um, you see somebody blown up, the face just turns black and they bounce back to human. I mean, back to cartoons again. So I think it's a free world for them, and, and it's it's fun to be in it. So anything that I do is cartoonic. I know about this. You know, even my parents know that I'm cartoonic. If you'd ask me, I'd say that um, he's one of the craziest person that I've, I've ever inter I mean, interviewed myself. And um, now I'm just I'm, uh, I need to skip the interview to the truth and the dead part. And this very part, I need you to be completely honest about whatever I'm going to ask you. Are you sure we can do this? You're really sure? All right, let's make this happen. My first question: Would you rather prefer half cool or a dark skin girl? Do I have to choose? What if I'm Oliver Twist? I want both. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I said this from the start. I mean, should I need you more? But, um, me pe bibi ni. That's like a twisted. black girl. Bibi ni could still be a fair person, you know. Me pe bibi ni. I didn't say me pe black person. I said me pe bibi ni. <laughs> you have ways of twisting words. You. Okay, so a tall or a short girl? Tall is good. Tall is good. Tall is good. If you were to resemble an animal, I mean, no offense, though, I'm just asking. If you were to resemble an animal in this animal kingdom, who would you like to be? Majority of what? humans look like monkeys. Yeah. I mean, they know it. They eat them, so they know it. So I think uh, even more. monkey, you say? Yeah, I'll be, be a fine monkey. Not a decorated one. Well shaped, nice cut, you know, teeth brushed monkey. <laughs> Okay, let me ask you this. Whether in reality or in a cartoon character as you're talking about, who is your superhero? Who would you like to be? If you have to be a superhero, how are you going to be like? Sorry? Captain Crazy Crime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Captain Crazy Crime. Crime boldly written on my chest like, ta-da! You know, ta-da, ta-da! I'm just flying all over with my cape and you know, I, I wouldn't like to cover my face, no. I want them to see who is coming. <laughs> I tell you, this guy is cracking me in the studios right now. He's he's super super funny, man. You know. <laughs> ah, that's fine. It's really really getting interesting in the building right now, and um. I know y'all fellas like to say in the building, so I'm learning from y'all in the building. Even though when you're standing outside, you say in the building. Now, this, uh, this very segment, I call it um, the first impression. I don't want you to think about it. I just want you to give me an answer to this. Or uh, whatever comes on mind, just tell me. Yeah? All right. You ready for this? Are you ready? All right, let's make this happen. Alcohol. Sober. <laughs> Party. And more so. <laughs> Food. Easy one. And the easy one. Pretty on the bar, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Kiss. Mwah. Punch. Ajay. Beautiful. And who will bring? Tight. Jeggings. Funny. Banana. Mm. Sister Debbie. If you'd ask me, I'd say you're the funniest dude, man. I think, you, I think you're basically a um, caricature. You remember the caricature, cartoonic stuff? And I think it was beautiful having you on set. I really had fun to the blast. I hope you did too. That's what you say, right? Yes, sir. You don't need to be yes, told. Yes, sir. I'll so, be fellas out there, I like to say that um, there was Steve Crime in the building and I really had massive, lot crazy out fun there. And um, crazy rhymes you most enjoy. You know what to do. Stay tuned. Go nowhere. I'm still your host, D to the Crime.